So one of the things that I ask all the kind of guests I speak to is what's the best piece of advice you've ever had? Um, uh, I would say this went from, um, it would come from my dad this, and it would have been along the lines of, you're going to have to work hard for things because no one's going to give you anything. It's true. So, and, and that's what I've always done. You know, I, I, I've looked to put work hard at whatever I've done and put effort in. Um, and, and it's the same across what I ask of everybody in this business as well. You know, we've got to work hard, especially in times like we've got now, um, where really we're kind of going to have to outwork other businesses like ours. Um, and we're going to have to outwork other flooring companies and stuff like that mm-hmm. to ensure that um, what business is out there, we can um, get our hands on it. One of the things I'm doing with some of the companies is with... Um we're going back and shaking the tree so it's actually going back yeah. for all the customers in the past two years stuff you might have attended for but you haven't head back on and actually going through and ringing them all and just it's yes. doing anything you can for the low-hanging fruits just to kind yeah. of shore it up uh, i've got an yeah. interesting question on the hard work kind of question and actually in, in some ways do you think the the major driver between when businesses succeed or fail not in every case but in a lot of cases is hard work because I'll, I'll context yeah. that just because for me, it's where a lot of the people that I meet, and these aren't people at your business level, but people that are kind yeah. of more mine, where they've started and they might not be making as much the same money as they want. And yeah. it's that balance of where I'll ask them, so actually how many sales approaches have you made? And unless it's in the hundreds, I, for yeah. me, they're not working hard enough. Like I set myself my own target of a thousand people that I would reach out to. And yes. if I reached out to a thousand people and it still didn't work, I would then rethink. But actually, I think the people that seem to do well are the people that work hard and they've got the determination that when things go wrong, you just keep going. You just keep going, yeah. Well, you've got to have a very sort of short memory. So, you know, when when things don't go right and don't go wrong, you've just got to, boom, put that behind you and then move on to the next thing. I mean, we we could talk for the next two hours about the things that have gone wrong in the last few weeks. You know, it's just part and parcel of being in, in business and stuff like that, but... Um, certainly the hard work, the resilience, you know, and you've got to persevere. It's that That's the sort of biggest thing about it all. It's perseverance. You know, I think a lot of people um, will throw in the towel a little bit too early, um, but it's back yourself, you know, um, back yourself. Because you know, if, if, like I say, if, if one thing doesn't work out, there's always something else that you can do from it and learn from it. Cool. And then just because I know you're a busy man and you've got family and stuff yeah. to get back to. Um if you were to give advice to your younger self and you can pick yeah. whatever age you want, yeah, what would it be? Possibly two ages. One would have been at 11 and I should have stuck in at school. Um, and gone on and been like a doctor or an accountant or something or a solicitor. They seem to charge really good money. Um, or um, sort of when I set up in business, it's sort of like 25, 26 year old. And the advice would have been to seek out a mentor as quickly as possible. Somebody who was who was who has the a business um, where you want to get to, where you want to aspire to, because to this day, you know, I, st- I still don't have that person, and that's why I continue to make mistakes and learn from them on a daily basis. Do so you have a, like a dream for where you want to be in, say, ten years? Ten years? Um, oh, wow. Well, um, certainly have that business that's employing a thousand people you know we, we we'd like to get the business to that point uh, where we're, we're established um, nationally i think that that's on a business level but then on a on a more personal level i want to be happy in 10 years you know <laughs> just yeah and and that that's one of the things i think in life i think a lot of people sort of forget about is just um being Same. happy in what they do and um certainly i struggle with that daily so in 10 years time if i'm happy and you know we, we've achieved what we want to do with the business and that will be and that I think we would have uh, would be great.